you put your menstrual cup in and now it's time to get it out. Mm. Put a cup in it, it's going to help. Not literally, we're not actually coming over to your house and removing it like you might have seen in some movies or TV shows. Are you okay? No, still up there. I need you to lock the door and I need you to wash your hands. To start, just relax. Oh no, okay, relax. If you're not relaxed, what do you think will happen? Your body is going to clench <laughs> up. And that includes your vaginal muscles, which are wrapped around your menstrual cup. We would recommend trying to remove your cup for the very first time in a shower. And one of the reasons is that it's relaxing, you're gonna be nice and warm and wet. And as you can imagine, whatever you do, it doesn't matter, it's your shower. The best news, and probably one of the reasons you switch to cups, is that you can wear them, if you have an average flow, 10 to 12 hours at a time. And that means you won't be changing all that frequently, and chances are you're not gonna have to change in public either. First and foremost, do not yank on the stem in an effort to swiftly remove your cup. It's not a tampon string, it doesn't work like that, we're not starting a chainsaw. You do not want to just yank the sucker out. If you find that you have a high cervix and your cup has migrated up, you can feel for the stem, grip it, and use a gentle wiggle motion to kind of coax it down until you can reach the base. The one thing you need to remember is that a menstrual cup cannot get lost inside of you. There's nowhere for it to go. The only way for it to go is out. Once you can reach the base of the cup, you're gonna to wanna to give it a pinch. This is gonna help release the suction and make removal easier and more comfortable. While still pinching, pull the cup downward, and once you get it outside of your body, you should be over the toilet and it should be pretty much upright, so you can simply tilt it over and empty it. Same thing would apply if you're in the shower. Even with pinching the base, if you still find removal a bit uncomfortable, instead of just pulling it out straight, you can sort of tilt it out, either toward the top or towards the bottom. If you tilt it towards the bottom, obviously you might have a bit of spillage, but it should still be going into the toilet or the shower, so it's really not a big deal. Now, you may be thinking to yourself that pinching the base of this cup is a disaster waiting to happen because the displacement of the blood you've collected throughout your day might be spilling all over you. But really, because it's inside of you, as you pinch it, it doesn't make a mess like you would think and you're again over a toilet and you're moving it down and dumping it. Everything is sort of contained in the same area. Everything stays in the cup as you're moving it down. There should be no mess. For most of us, our cups are worn in a station where we can pretty much reach it right away. If that's not you, or if you want to get it a little bit lower so you don't have to kind of go fishing in there, is that you can use these muscles, but just kind of pretend like you're pooping, and as you do that, your cup will bear down into a lower station and you can reach it to pinch it to break that seal to remove it. Now to the question lingering in your mind this whole time, what do you do with the cup if you have to change it when you're away from home? This might be the number one question we get asked, and the good news is that it shouldn't be messy, no one's going to know you're changing your cup or emptying your cup. In a public stall, simply remove the cup as you normally would, empty it, and use a bit of toilet paper or a pre-moistened wipe, paper towel, whatever it is, and you can wipe the rim of the cup and reinsert. When you get to a private location, you can wash it as usual. Cups do not have an alarm that will tell you when it's full. Alert! Alert! And we have addressed this in a video about how often you need to change your cup. Just remember that when you first start, remove it at about four to six hours or so, unless you know your head's clear, then a little sooner. Once you get into the routine of it, you know what your body is going to do and when you need to empty it. Removal will become a lot faster and a lot easier the more you practice. You might be holed up in the bathroom for a little while your first cycle, but by your second or third cycle, you'll really understand how to get it done and it won't take any longer than it would have taken you to remove and replace a tampon. And there is no crinkling and no trash left behind. Thank you for watching. We hope you found this helpful. If you have any tips, please leave them in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks. The first thing I'm gonna tell you as I lecture you with this piece with the menstrual cup inside. A uh, narrower ex ex exertion? Okay. <laughs> I keep sucking it back. Oh my God. <laughs> Plastic vaginas are not real vaginas.